misinformation. So Lauren Verno in our News for Jack's Trust Index team is hard at work to help separate fact and fiction. So Lauren, what did you find out? Tara Joy, so what we know right now, this is the post that is circulating around social media. It's a tweet that says these are three of the four volunteers who developed Bell's palsy after being vac vaccinated with the Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. So that's where we started with our trust index. This is something that's popular going around social media now, particularly amongst the anti-vaccination crowd. U of Health Jacksonville Director of Infectious Disease Chad Nielsen says misleading posts like this one are very common and reminds everyone not everything you read on social media is true. There's no evidence of that for this vaccine yet. Um, certainly when Pfizer released their clinical trial information, uh, the adverse events were reported. There was nothing serious. Uh, I'll go on and say there were deaths in the clinical trial. I'll go on and say there were deaths in the clinical trial. None of which were due to the vaccine. To be clear, four participants in the Pfizer vaccine trial and four participants in Moderna's trial did experience Bell's palsy, which in its simplest form causes the face to droop. In Pfizer's trial, all four participants who experienced Bell's palsy received the COVID vaccine. However, in Moderna's trial, three participants who experienced Bell's palsy got the vaccine, one got the placebo. Dr. Elizabeth Ransom with Baptist Health says that should not deter anyone from getting the vaccine. Just like there were some cases of appendicitis um, in, in study participants, both in the placebo arm and, and in the uh, vaccine arm. Well, appendicitis happens in the population as well. So, so these things will occur naturally. The FDA recognized these cases of Bell's palsy before approving Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, but says there is no evidence to link the two. It's important to note that the reaction didn't happen immediately after the vaccine was administered, but in all cases weeks later. The FDA is now recommending surveillance of cases of Bell's palsy as more people get vaccinated. I am a registered nurse in Nashville, Tennessee, and my name is Kalila Mitchell. I'm reaching out to everyone about the COVID-19 vaccination. I recently took the COVID-19 vaccination. After the shot, I felt fine, but within three days, I went to the doctor because I had problems with my face. The whole left side of my face, actually. Um, I have Bell palsy now. And as you can see, I can't smile. As I'm trying to smile. I'm just kind of embarrassing for me. But I just want everyone to know that I think this vaccination is the worst thing ever. And I would not give this to anybody even my worst enemy. Please, America, they do not care about us. Do not take this vaccination. The side effects for the Moderna vaccine sound concerning. We looked. After the second dose, at least 80% of participants experienced a systemic side effect, ranging from severe chills to fevers. So, are these vaccines safe? Well, the, uh, the FDA not being pressured will look hard at that. The FDA is the gold standard of regulators uh, and their current guidance on this, if they stick with that, is, is very, very appropriate. Uh, and, you know, the, it, the, 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 the side effects were not super severe. That is, it didn't cause permanent health problems for uh, the things that are, they, you know, Moderna did have to go with a fairly high dose. And so, uh, you know, to get the antibodies, some of the other vaccines uh, are going able to go with lower doses to get uh, responses that are, are pretty high, including the, the J&J and the Pfizer. And so there's a lot of characteristics of these vaccines. Um, it's great that we have multiple of them. Uh, that are bill, going out there and, and yes, I you, think you know the data the better than I do. But the bill, bill the, the data showed that everybody with a high dose had a, a side effect. Yeah, but some of that is is not dramatic where, you know, it's just 
you know, super painful. But yes, there we need to make sure there's not severe side effects. The FDA uh, 